Welcome to Slab Bazaar's PowerPoint for Pros, a video series that will help you become better at PowerPoint. This video is part 2 of our viral PowerPoint design series. For part 1, check out the description. In this video, let's look at how you can create these slide designs. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Also, if you're someone that works on a lot of presentations, Slide Bazaar has a free PowerPoint add-in that comes with plenty of presentation themes, templates, and even an AI-powered presentation creator. Check out the link in the description to know more. Anyway, let's move on to the video. Let's learn how to create this beautiful slide design in PowerPoint. First, let's insert an image as a background by going to Insert. Once you have a background image, go back to Insert and draw a rectangular shape that covers the entire slide. Now, add some text and adjust the font and font size. Next, carefully select both the shape and the text by holding down Ctrl and clicking on them. And then go to Shape Format and under Merge Shapes, select Combine. Then right click on the shape, click on Format Shape and let's apply a gradient fill as shown. Let's adjust the transparency to get something like this. And then set line as no line. All you need to do now is add some more text on your slides and then duplicate the slide. On the duplicate slide, Drag down the shape and the text to the bottom of the slide. And expand the background image by holding down Ctrl and dragging the corner handles of the image. Then finally, select both slides on the left and go to Transitions and select Morph to get something like this. Now let's take a look at another interesting PowerPoint design that you can create. Despite what you think, it's pretty easy to make something like this. First, let's go to Insert and add an appropriate image background. Then let's add some text and adjust the font size as well. Now let's add an image with a transparent background. Now, if you don't have an image like this, remember you can always use the background removal tool inside PowerPoint. Now, place the image carefully over the text and right click and send it to the back. With the image selected, press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it and then carefully place it exactly over the original image. Now, let's right click the image and select crop and then crop out the part of the image that appears behind the text as shown. And there you go. Here are some more examples. Alright, that's all for this video. Subscribe to Sly Bazaar if you want more videos like this. Don't forget to check out Sly Bazaar's free PowerPoint add-in. The link will be in the description.